Me and my bro made one small game every day for the past three days. This is day four of the challenge and as promised we took one of your comments from the other videos and turned it into a video game. We got all kinds of fascinating game ideas. Shout out to Gameworks who left about a dozen suggestions. You rock man. We began our journey in Miro, a great tool to quickly scribble down ideas online. We really liked this comment from Oropai, tower defense game where enemies and towers randomly switch roles throughout the battle. We also had some ideas for this funny suggestion on playing a fly that tries to get the closest possible to its poor victims without being smashed in order to score more points. We tossed a coin and went for the fly idea. Two months ago I made a game called The White Bird, which has this interesting fluffy artwork. I was eager to make another world in this style, so I began creating a strange pink beast, which we assume attracts annoying flies. I put it in a lush green field and began adding some soft shapes for lighting. I added some post-processing, which is an easy way to make any scene look a little better with a few clicks. And then updated the project to find that Liam had added a buzzing white fly to our game. Things were already shaping up. Sometimes I get sidetracked and spend a bit too much time on little details, such as this white trail effect. Liam, who was as usual the main programmer of the this small project put into place the main mechanic where you score points the closer you get to your targets. There's some nice risk and reward going on here since you'll lose all your hard won points if you collide with the beasts. Which since you're all asking we named a Pinkalo and then created a second smelly creature that will chase the player around instead of randomly moving around the scene. A lot of time was spent making the points look and feel great since a big part of the fun was that satisfying gradual increase to your score. Awesome sound effects also go a long way to bring a video game to life. <laughs> You might have noticed these annoying black flies which decrease your score by small amounts if you get too close. They die when they hit either of the two beefy creatures which adds a nice layer of strategy to the mix since you'll try to trap them as soon as possible. One of my big inspirations as an indie game developer is the Binding of Isaac. So as a mini easter egg we have the Pinkolo dropping golden poop which can be collected for 25 juicy points. We call the game the Golden Wafts, happy with another day of great game development. You can play for free, the link is in the description and let us know if you can beat our high score. Also feel free to comment your game ideas, we might very well turn it into a video game and give you a shout out in tomorrow's video. We also want to remind you that we have five game development courses on Udemy that will teach you how to code, make art, design worlds, no matter your skill level. So if you ever wanted to bring your imagination to life like we do in these videos, give the courses a look. The links are in the description. See you tomorrow to the moon, my friends.